Hey everyone, in this video, we'll be learning about .NET MAUI collection view item selection. That means whenever Alex is selected, then it goes to page A, that is our new page one. Okay, so whenever uh, the second item is selected, it goes to new page two, that is our new uh, content page. So uh, that is the thing that we are going to achieve. This is the continuation of our previous video, that is our .NET MAUI collection view, source feature, JAML implementation. I have already provided the source code over here you can grab that thing and i'll just continue with the implementation of this item selection or you can just uh, watch this video to learn more about the collection view and uh, using the xaml code so here what we actually going to do is uh, the item selection of the collection view so at first and foremost what we are going to do is we are going to create two uis that is new page one and new page two in order to create new new two uis we are going to tell that we are going to select .NET MAUI and add a new file as a content page xaml in our next video we'll be using the c sharp content page for sure okay so in this tutorial we are just going to create two pages that is new page one and new page two so here you can see i have given a label as uh, welcome to .NET MAUI page a uh, and then welcome to .NET MAUI page two so this is first and foremost step that means the ui creation then at first what happens is like uh, uh, here uh, what i am doing actually is uh, here you don't need to be scared about this one it is really really easy okay so here i'll just separate these two parts okay so main page cell navigation we need to understand okay so as at first whenever our application loads then we are uh, presented with a new ui right so in this new ui ui we are going to tell that app cell as a main starting page this is the starter page for sure okay so starter page should have okay starter page should have the app cell so here you can see the app cell is here okay so but before that we need to register something okay we need to register some pages before doing any type of navigations okay so this is the registration that's all okay this is the only step that we need to understand that is like we need to register page a okay this is just a string here i can tell that uh, uh, page something like page apple or something like that okay and whenever i am calling it then uh, uh, I'm, I'm just going to uh, call it whenever uh, doing the navigation so this is the type of what type of page it is it is new page one right so this is the new page one this is the new page two so we are registering this two page with this common string just like a secure storage with the key okay this these are the two keys okay now what happens is like in the app cell we are going to tell that uh, our main page is the page where uh, now everything loads okay it might be different on your case okay it might be any other pages but main page is the main page which gets loaded and the cell is the cell which uh, encapsulate the main page but here you need to understand this is the route okay this is the route you can make the route as like a parent route okay so this parent route uh, is getting going, going to get navigated uh, uh, with the help of this route uh, we we are going to either move towards page a or move towards page b okay so uh, don't forget to mention about the route and later we need that thing up um, whenever uh, we are doing more complex navigations so uh, nothing to do worry about over here okay so uh, in our main page what we have done is like uh, in our uh, like just a entry and just a collection view okay so in our previous tutorial i have already mentioned about collection view how to bind it okay but in this tutorial what uh, we actually are going to implement is this one that is selection mode sing single is the selection mode there are uh, different type of modes okay that is like uh, whenever double uh, double uh, double tab is required single double okay like multiple okay so there are this is the selection mode okay that is like uh, whenever the item is selected and what happens okay so uh we already know about the item source binding from the view model okay so uh, in our previous tutorial too i have already mentioned about how our main page gets uh, binded with the view model okay so this is our view model basic view model okay 
I'll just uh, collapse this because I don't want to mention it right now. And this is very basic collection view. So user items with the help of this bindable object, um, the, this uh, collection view uh, gets um, gets all its item from here. Okay, so uh, the UI gets all its item from the uh, from this uh, from the view model to the view. Okay, so that that is all regarding the item source binding and the selected item is the item which is selected. Okay, so which item is selected this is just a uh, list of items uh, just a object with a name as well as address right this object okay what happens whenever it's selected as a selection mode as a single so this don't forget to add this one as a code so uh, whenever uh, the item is selected then here i've just uh, used this uh, line of code so that it makes easy for you to understand so selected mode item this is the model class you can just uh, separate this uh, as uh, as a uh, like over here and create a folder put this model class over there and make it as a mvvm structure but here I, i'm just making it for a example to make it uh, really easy to uh, grab the reference okay so here uh, what we actually doing is like whenever the item is selected okay whenever the item is selected because here uh, it is a list of object right so this is the list of this object so this object has an uh, properties named as name and as well as address so whenever the item is selected then we are going to take that object reference so it, uh, and whenever the item is selected so uh, the item which is selected is going to get its value over here okay whenever the um, like uh, the item uh, in the collection view okay is selected then we'll get the item over here you can just use some breakpoints over here whenever doing the navigations okay and then we are going to create a method just a method okay so selected list item is a object whenever it's selected then it provides me the address name or anything as you like just you can just make it uh, like id id equals to one two three four five six seven okay so whenever uh like uh, id is selected okay then we are going to perform the navigation on the base of id so here you can see whenever i get alex okay whenever the list has one two if you, if the list has one then i can go to uh page a then if the list has um, uh, id equals to else if if the list has uh, if the get name is uh, uh two then we can go to page two three four five six then at last we are going to tell that uh, selected item equals to null because we don't want uh, we we every time want uh, the selected uh, list item to be null whenever it gets navigated to other another page or else there is going to be a uh, bug so here uh, you can just play around with this one and here you can see i have you, you use the reference as uh, page a as well as page b so here uh, in our app.jaml.cs you can, you know that what is page a and what is page b right so same thing we we need to go to directly to the page a as well as page b and uh, that is it so that is how the actually the navigation works and uh, uh, collection view item selection works so i think i have pretty much explained that's all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for our next tutorials